Oh, don't break ye now, what in you? Oh, don't break ye. Oh, don't break ye. Oh, don't break ye. Hey, that is my jam, a classic Daddy Lumba song. And listen, you guys all need to come home. Come home to Single and Mingle going on February 11th at the Silver Star Towers. You don't want to miss it. I'm going to be there. Reggie's going to be there. Lily Mohammed. It is the perfect way to start your Valentine's Day weekend, especially if you're single. Come mingle. All the information you need is on at GH1 TV on all our social media platforms. Tickets are 100 CDs only for one person and 150 CDs for couples. Now let's get ready and let's delve into the topic of love. Joining me today is Dr. Samuel Arthur, who is a love and sex coach. Doc, how you doing? I'm doing great, dear. We also have Blessing Media... T I'm sorry, Blessing Caterer. Sorry, this is Miss Blessing. Blessing Caterer. And Miss Tina M, who is a media personality. Right? How are we doing tonight? Oh, I'm oh, great. Doing great. Doing you well. ladies look fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. You look good. good. What are you wearing? Well, I bought it from Debbie's Closet. Wow, it looks fantastic on you. Now, let's talk about love. What is love? Well, uh, ladies first. Oh. <laughs> you know what? Let's let the doctor go first. <laughs> I was hoping that the ladies would give the... Uh, Don't worry. You know, because I would be coming from a more technical, you know, philosophical, you know, that's point perfect. of view. So that's perfect. Uh, fine, Doc. We want to know what is love? Well, um, there's been the um, general perception that love is affection, but it isn't. It's an emotion that is expressed through affection depending on who chooses to express it and for whom the person is expressing it to. Because love is not always expressed through affection. Okay. Yeah. So that's, I think, what I would say now. But as we go along... Okay. Might, All right. Yeah. Now, Blessing, what is love to you? Love, as Counselor said, it's an emotional thing that is characterized through commitment and affection. Yeah, and when we talk about love, it has this kind of emotions. When we talk of emotions, we also have the negative and the positive emotion, uh, emotions that is attached to love. Okay, yeah. okay. And, and for you? when we talk about positive mm -hmm. emotions, that is the excitement you get when you feel loved. And when you go to the negative emotions, that the jealousy and the stress, when the one when the one giving, maybe you are the receiver. You don't. You are not receiving as the as maybe you are, your expectations through your partner is not coming. So you feel stressed. So it comes with the negative emotions of love. When you're talking about love, this is all I can see for now. Okay, you said a lot there, and I'm going to come back to you <laughs> on that. But I'm definitely going to have to get Tina's opinion on what is love. Well, for me, uh, the favorite feeling that comes with love itself it has to do with what makes people emotionally connected and committed. So basically, if you see people in love, naturally, they, they care for each other, they protect each other, they, they trust them, they want to be closer to them. And people that feel they are in a relationship or they are in love, they find themselves a little bit attached or sense of intimacy between the two people so you find them expressing their private feelings thoughts and uh, desires together yeah okay that's how i find i see love now both both of our ladies it's very interesting because both ladies talked about commitment right so i have to ask this do you find love to be equated to commitment Commitment is very important in a relationship. We can't take that one out. But again, it, I think it, it varies from a couple, one couple to the other. What may be commitment to me may be different to somebody. For instance, some people want a monogamous relationship where uh, they do one person at a time, one partner. Whereas another person may feel, okay, commitment means openly telling you, let's do an open relationship. I can have multiple partners, but I love you. So okay. you need to... Communicate that with your partner, even though it's obvious, the definition of commitment seems obvious, but you need to clar get clarity from your partner because commitment to you 
may be different from commitment to me. So you have to discuss and talk about it. Doc, will your take on it, Doc? Well, um, I would say that um, love has nothing to do with commitment. Okay. But I would agree with um, Lady here that it's been assumed. That is uh, Miss Tina. Miss Tina, yeah. yeah. That it's been assumed that they, they virtually um, together or one is a product of the other, but they really aren't. Um, you know, commitment is a kind of assurance of a guarantee for exclusivity, all right? And um, you wouldn't want to equate that to love because you do not always have to guarantee exclusivity because you are in love. And you don't necessarily have to act on love because you are in love. You see, uh -huh. that's why it should be possible to love from afar. And if you want to help viewers tonight, we would want to be real. A man can think he loves a woman and may act on it by approaching her. Unfortunately for him, he probably isn't what the woman is looking for. Mm -hmm. And therefore, she rejects him. It helps you to do the gentlemanly thing if you understand that the fact that you love does not necessarily mean that you need to act on it. But how can you have a relationship without commitment? Yes, so the issue of relationship is not the same as the issue of love. How? These are two exclusive um, um, concepts, you see. You, you, you get into a relationship as a result of being in love. But you can't be in a relationship that is loveless. Yes, but, but you, you meet someone, right? You, you, you don't, it's not everyone that falls in love at first sight, yes. right? So you meet someone, you get to know the person. Yes. A lot of times you fall in love, then you start the relationship. Yeah. So if there is no commitment, how does the relationship, you, how do you stay together? How do you bond without commitment? You see, that's why I was agreeing that commitment can be a product of love, but it should not be seen as a guarantee because it is not everybody that can offer that because they love you. Yes, but like as Ms. Tina said, yes. even if we decide to be in a polygamous relationship, yes. even if we decided to do that, it is still some type of commitment, right? Yes. I'm still, example, let's say you and I, yeah. I'm still committing to date other people, but you are the one constant person. So it's still some sort of commitment, right? No, it, 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 commitment in this sense is a guarantee for exclusivity. Otherwise, how can I say that I'm committed to you? You see, when I say I'm committed to you, then I am excluding everybody else from what I have with you. All right. Uh -huh. So if we are talking about love, relationship and commitment, then but I, I can be committed to you yes. and we can still decide that you're you're seeing other people and I'm OK with that. And I'm and we're still committed to each other and we're still in love. Exactly. So because I'm we have to speak about the 2022 relationship yes. where there are many different types of relationships. Yes. You know, it's not like it was before where it was just, you know, mommy and daddy. Yeah. So I'm pushing you towards something that we'll discuss later when we come okay. to the types of love. <laughs> okay. But, but I, I, I just wanted to lay the, um, the foundation, uh, the foundation uh, pull people's minds to, you know, where we'll be going, you know. Yeah. yeah. So when, when we get there, we'll, we'll look at that. But um, commitment should be seen as separate from a relationship which is also separate from love these three can exist together but it doesn't necessarily have to okay so we can all agree that the three can exist yes. together but yes. not necessarily all the, all the time Do you have yeah. anything you want to add on to that oh yes when we talk about commitment it's a decision that the two partners the two couples in in that relationship as Ross, uh, the counselor said you have to make a decision that I am committed to this uh, relationship or to this person 
it doesn't necessarily mean that the two of you are going to agree on the commitment line. It's a decision based on you two. Maybe, um, honey, I love you, but I'm not ready to settle now. Can you? Can we be in um, maybe a romantic or intimate relationship? If you should agree, which means you have agreed to be committed in the decision made between the two of you. So before anything could happen, maybe I'm not really understanding uh, what you are going about, but maybe with times I'll come to understand this. But with the viewers out there, commitment is a decision between two people. It's an agreement. So if I'm committed to something, it means that we agree before venturing. If there is no agreement, then there is no commitment. If I'm not committed to what we agree on, there, there isn't any relationship. Okay. Yeah, so that is what I It's so getting quite spicy in here. <laughs> so I have to ask, what would you say it takes to love someone? Miss Tina? Well, I believe if you truly love someone, let's take the formation of the word itself, love. Mm -hmm. uh, the L for loyalty. It's like you'll be there for them. The O for optimism. It's like you, you always look into the future. You think it will be good or great in the future, so it's about the future. And then V for value. If you love somebody, you cherish them. And the E for energy. You know, love comes with a certain energy. That is why when you have issues in your relationship, it's like they are sucking something from you. It's intense, very, very intense. So if you, if you say you love somebody, you prioritize being with the person, you give the person maximum respect, you reciprocate feelings, kind gestures, and everything so that you can cohabit peacefully. Because if one person is in love or doing is a one-sided relationship, trust me, it will look like an unrequited love. Why? It's just one-sided. And that is not fun. That will be an emotional torture to the other party. Okay. Okay. Listen, dog. She's giving you a run yes, for dude. it. What's yeah. your take? Yeah, I would want to add to um, what uh, Miss T said. You know, um... What it takes to love somebody, um, you know, usually when I have to address some of these issues, my position can sometimes be a little controversial and unpopular because um, there is a lot of um, misconceptions out there, all right? Now, um, to be able to truly love somebody, you need to understand that there's a difference between love and lust. And most of the time, what we feel is lust and not love, you know. So we will look at that when we come to types of love. But usually what you f feel initially is lust. And you can be at the last stage for a very long time before you begin to feel love. Now, so why do I say this? To love somebody, you must be able to go past the superficial. What I mean is that you must be able to see the woman beyond her beauty beyond her um her um her shape you need to be able to see the man beyond his cash beyond his car and deal with the real person now when you find the real person you will then come to understand that every human being demands a certain kind of love that is not the same the love that one woman may want from you is not the same as the love that another woman would want from you because the love that somebody wants is informed by the experiences that the person has had and then the upbringing that the person has had, all right? So if you would have to love somebody, you first have to know the real person. And if you find out who that real person is, the question now is, um, it's a, a three-prone thing that is happening here. You have an intent to love somebody. But then there is an extent to that intent. What it means is that if you intend to love her, do you have the extent? Now, this means that do you have the strength to love this? But now that you know the real person, the question is, do you have what it takes to love this particular person to the extent to which he or she needs love? based on the complication that the person brings. That's why I agree with Miss T that she says that it, it, it brings some kind of heavy weight on you because love will test 
your character it will text your ability so if you want to love somebody then you would have to go beyond the superficial to see who that person really is and to decide if you have the power to love her or him okay and what about you person okay let me add a bit um for you to give out it's like love itself is a verb an action an action thing you have to give out something you cannot give what you don't have so for a person to really feel love for a person for, for what you want to give it should be that i should feel that what you see it shouldn't be words i should always see the action and what are the actions i should feel being cared for and i should feel the the intensity of what i am does it excite me or does does it add stress or does does it bring out certain emotions that i wasn't in before i met you so if you are in a, a, a love and you don't feel that vibe you don't feel the uh, the action of what the person confessed you to be a uh, uh, counselor met me and he was like blessing i love you and what what is he giving me in here what am i seeing what do i feel is it only the words he confessed does he act or do i feel when i sit down do i feel or do i think about okay uh, yesterday we, he he does this or i also did this it shouldn't be he i should also give in so it should be it should be a give and take that is what makes you feel loved that is what makes you feel that you are truly can I a bit? Sure, you can enter. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Um, I agree with you, and this is the general understanding that we have, all right, that uh, love has to make you feel good. But that's the reason why relationships also don't last, especially in modern times. Okay, okay we're the, going to get there. Okay. okay, let's not jump too <laughs> soon. But what I can say is that we can sum it up in total that love is about it, what it takes to love someone. Number one, you have to be yourself. Right. You have to build something together. You have to be able to trust each other and you have to be able to accept each other mm. for who for you who really we are. are right. Yeah. That's what it takes yeah. to love someone. So now let's talk about the different types of love. Right. Yeah. And let's start with the Eros love. Now, Doc, tell us about the Eros love. Well, um, Eros, you know, um, I do not prescribe to the idea that there are types of love in the first place. So yeah, I, I would be doing an academic work by answering your question. Well, why don't you believe that there are different types of love? Because love is an emotion like hate. You mentioned jealousy. Jealousy is not a product of love. It's a separate emotion. Do you understand? That is activated when something happens in your relationship. But it has nothing to do with love. It's an emotion. Uh -huh. You know, so just as we don't have types of hatred, types of fear, types of jealousy, types of anger, types of pain, why would any person think there should be types of love? You know, so, um, well. Uh, because I, I, can, um, I can love you for who you are. I can love you for you maybe being emotionally there for me. Because maybe our personalities click more, maybe you understand me better, but maybe I might not love you in a romantic way, and maybe I might not be sexually attracted you see, to you. That, that's exactly what so I'm... So it's a different type of love. No, that's, that's what I'm trying to prove here. You know, um, Eros is generally seen as a kind of love that goes with the erotic so yes, um, certainly there must be romance and some sex um, related to that but what i am saying is, is that this is the reason why we have problems with somebody expressing love and expecting that if you love me then you would have sex with me okay. you see um, if i may land you see the, the 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 reason is that love is an emotion all right that is usually expressed through affection that is usually selfless so it means that you should be able to love somebody without expecting anything back and you should be able to love somebody when somebody that person is giving you nothing in return now 
when when I look at some comments that we've already made, it it pushes us to a place where we have a lot of eyes, eyes, and me, me. Okay, and I will talk about that later. But I would want to stress here that generally, love is an emotion of tenderness and affection that you would feel. Now, how you express that emotion is what they have um, segregated into types. How you express that emotion, that is what they have segregated into types. But I believe that there are different intensities of that emotion, but not necessarily types. Do you understand what I mean? So I can't say that, okay, I am, um, I am a hater. I beat people. So I am a type of a hater. Mm -hmm. As against somebody who kills people. Who is also another type of a hater because of what you do with that emotion. But we could say that mm -hmm. there are different types of anger, right? There are people that get angry and yell. There are people that get angry and punch walls. So that, right? it, that, it, they are different types of expressing the anger, but yeah. they are in different types of anger. So there are different ways and types of expressing love, but they aren't different, different types, types of, of love. love. Okay. I am saying this to help people because you should be able to genuinely love somebody without having anything expected back, you know, um, um, in return for that love. If we have that understanding, it makes society better because that feeling of love is what you expect to, you expected to have for the woman you want to have an erotic relationship with. The same feeling is what you're supposed to have for your mother. The same feeling is what you're supposed to have for your daughter. <laughs> the same feeling, no, no, I, hold, I'm not talking about eros or erotic. Okay. What I'm saying is that the, rela the feeling you would have for you and your, ma your mother or your father, all right, will be called feelings. But then the truth of the matter is that it is because of the, how you express the love that has been made for it to be called feelings. Do you understand? And then the same feeling is what you have for your wife or your girl. But because you express this one in a more romantic and erotic way, then you become eros. Yes. Then if you have that feeling um, because um, you are a pastor or maybe you are a benefactor for many people, then you, you would then look at agape so, in a way. So does it mean that? Does it mean if, uh, looking at the kinds of feeling you are describing here, that the same feeling I should have for my dad. Expression of feelings. The same expression of feeling yes. that I should have for my dad should be the same no, expression not, of feeling no, no, I should have no, for my that's, not what, I, that's oh, yeah. not what I'm saying. You see, there is a difference between expression of feeling and the emotion itself. Yeah. Love as an emotion is different from how you express it. You see, yes. You're a doctor, yes. so you are describing it in a more technical, no, scientific my, my, uh, way. Yeah, but, but the fact of the matter is, I am a mother, yes. and I cannot possibly, I, of course, obviously, I love my child. Yes. My child means the world to me, but yes. I cannot possibly love my child the same way I love my partner. Yeah. It is just not, it, it, is, it is not possible. That's not what I'm saying. And it is not possible for <laughs> me to... Um, even love my child the same way I love my mom. Yes, you know because um, this, so I would say that there are different types of love. It's even with there, friendships. There are different ways, ways to love. Yes, there are if different ways that, to yes, love. Yes. But it's still a form of a different type of love. It's, it's, well, yeah, we, it's we so can agree. agree. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, because just like you were saying, I'm also a mother. You know when a woman feels love and it doesn't matter if she she lives alone. She stay alone with the the kid. Mm. A woman will find ways of getting someone to take care of for the child, and she will find her way to the man's house. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, definitely. You see, this is a kid. This is my own child that I have that I'm protecting. That is under my care. But when my uh, love called, yeah. The one, maybe the one I'm in love with. Okay, uh, Nana, please, uh, I miss you. Can you come over? Um, I look at my daughter, um, my kid. Um, okay, I have a friend here. I have a sister here. I'll just pick her, 
give her to my kid, um, give my kid to whoever I have to at that moment, then Uber or whatever. <laughs> You are seeing yeah, it. So it's, it's a different expression yeah, but with what here. You're saying, but you know what? You know what? Let's hold on a second. I know <laughs> Tina has a lot to say, but we have to let Tina jump in the conversation. Yeah, before um, I air my view, I want to say something that... Um, sure. I disagree slightly with something you said, mm -hmm. that when we love, we shouldn't expect anything back. No expectations. For real? Am I Jesus Christ? <laughs> really? I'm investing my emotions and I shouldn't expect anything back? Hell no. I expect you to give me that love. If you're not ready, like you said, if we communicate and I feel you are not the one for me or we don't have this, we are, we don't, we are not aligned in that same love language, then there's no need of starting even a relationship or committing to such a person. But uh, the, my view on love itself, because this, this discussion is basically on man-woman relationship, I would go straight to that point instead of uh, explaining failure and all that. I believe man-woman relationship, you can have a bit of everything in it. The eros is romantic. Philia, you can, you, can, you can be a friend to your partner. You gossip together, you do everything together. The, the, the compassionate love, you can commit, you can trust, you can do. So in per this discussion, if you're talking about types of love, I think it's all interrelated so we can put philia everything when you're with your partner be the friend be compassionate be uh what have you and at some point you even last after your partner so infatuation mm -hmm. sets in mm -hmm. there are days your partner dresses and it's like hey you dress to kill and then you look at the ties the breast and you go like wow you last after your partner mm -hmm. so you can do everything love with your partner Mm -hmm. Because last, is, there's nothing wrong with that. And, and what you're talking about is the ideal love, and we're going to get to that, okay? That's what we're, we have a lot to talk about. Gonna, that's when you're talking about your soulmate. But before we get to that, let's take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Hey, speaking of hold me down, what you need is sasa chili sauce. Listen, sasa chili sauce is delicious. You can mix it with fish. You can mix it with chicken. It makes life easier. It makes life tastier. It makes your food spicy delicious. I've tried it. It is so, so good. And you definitely want to try it. This coming Valentine's Day, if you're cooking at home or even if you hire a private chef to cook for you, you definitely want to try sasa chili sauce. It is available everywhere. And trust me, it's going to add that extra spice that you need for that special, special dinner. If you want to purchase it, you can purchase it at phone number 0265-228389. That number again is 0265-228389. And you can find it in any supermarket, Palace, Malcolm, everywhere. Sasa chili sauce is the way to go. Now back to my conversation. I have with me Dr. Samuel Arthur, Tina, a media personality, and of course, Madam Blessing, a caterer. And we're here talking about love and what is love. So now I have to ask you, in a regular relationship, a man and woman relationship, what does it take to love someone? I'm going to let Tina take this. No, 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 you we did. didn't answer that. No, what does it take? Meaning, when you're in love, what does it take for you to, to be in that, that relationship and for you to stay uh, in that relationship? I think I answered that question. Anyway, okay. I did. What it takes when you want the relationship, when you are in love, if you're truly in love with your partner, then here are some of the things to do. There should always be a space of respect. No matter how angry or how offensive your partner is to you, you should maybe... Uh, through your emotions or being angry, your partner might call you on phone. You should at least attach that respect. Don't abuse the fact that maybe you people are in love and maybe the person has called you on phone or texted you and then you brush that respect. When you go to biblical, they say love is respect. Yeah. So if you truly love someone, you should not forget the word respect. Okay. Okay. No, and there will always be someone offend you. Always offend each other. But if you truly love the person, don't forgo respect. You might be very angry or whatever when he calls you or he she calls you. Calm yourself down. Hello, 
please. Okay, even if you do not want to, please, can we talk later? I'm not really ready to talk. But, hey, have a, no, 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 it doesn't really sound well. And what, again, after adding that respect, you should be able to, uh, there is nothing like tit for tat. Mm -hmm. He, if I'm, I really want that relationship to work, then I shouldn't have a space for tit for tat. He did this, so I should also do that. Then what am I creating? Okay. If I begin to, if we begin to create that tit for tat thing, someone will, will come and will be doing ta ta, because you are doing tea. Mm -hmm. The person wants ta ta, so the person will come and do ta ta, and all of a sudden you feel a space, a distance, mm -hmm. something that should be very close as we define love should be a very sense of closeness. Then the closeness begins to give gap because you are doing tit for tat. He did this, I also want to do that. She did that, I also want to do that. Then there will be space. So there should always be a space of forgiveness. Okay. Yeah. Anything if you have you want... that big heart for forgiveness, you can. I like how, you, how you're using that word, a big heart for forgiveness. Because for me, what it takes to love means unconditional love. Mm -hmm. For me, it means that somebody that I can always have, somebody that I can always count on, that no matter what, I'm always here for you. Anything to add on to that, Doc? Yeah. Um, to sustain love, you must first understand that it takes work. And so um, you... If you are oblivious of that fact, you would mistakenly spoil your relationship or you, you spoil your relationship on our ways. Because, um, like I said, love is an emotion. And like every emotion, it can come and go. Like hatred. You can hate somebody for 50 years, but there could be something that can happen that will let you finally say, I forgive this and it's gone. Yeah. Do you see? So I, I've always said that, why is it that when two people are divorcing, they feel like cutting each other's throat? But then the amazing thing is that just 10 years down the line, they just couldn't have enough of each other. They were so much in love. What happened? You know, what happened is because a lot of the time we are not aware that to keep love and to keep it going, it requires work. So you must understand the work that must go into it for it to be sustained. You see, because it's an emotion. If you first understand that it's an emotion, then it means it can go. Because love can easily be replaced by hatred. You know, so now what is the work? The work does not depend on what I want because I love you. The work is me investigating what you want because I love you. Then you investigate. Can you say that again, Doc? I need our viewers <laughs> to hear that yeah, again. I said that the work is not me doing what I want because I love you. The work is me investigating what you want, not because you love me, but because I love you. And the expectation in a unique and um, an ideal relationship is that as I am effortlessly, um, e effortfully, let me put it that way, thinking and brooding over what can I do to make her happy today? How do I relieve her of stress? How do I help her burden for today? The expectation is that she is also being selfless and thinking about what... I also need because she loves me. If this is the kind of atmosphere that the two exist in, then the chances of sustaining that relationship is very um, um, it's it's high. guaranteed. Yes. Let me say it's guaranteed. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That's what yes. I want. And I think that. that's what Tina was saying earlier. It's yeah. like having a good relationship is having all the different types of love in that relationship. Yeah. Yeah, yes, you made mention of unconditional love as mm -hmm. that is what you are pursuing that's what you intend mm -hmm. to have mm -hmm. really of course you think it's that is that easy you think <laughs> no I, it's the first thing you <laughs> let me ask again listen for me uh -huh. in my view unconditional love uh -huh. there's nothing like that between man and woman there is nothing like there's always a hidden agenda you approach somebody because of what you know or what you think you like mm -hmm. those things are conditions Mm -hmm. If you are coming to me because of uh, my work, because of where you live, or because of... Uh, nowadays, people are selfish about it. It's not nowadays. It's always been like that. 
People even marry because you are AA genotype and they want <laughs> healthy kids. People marry because you give them beautiful kids mm -hmm. because of your looks. You are too old to oh, hi. You have beautiful kids. People also marry or stay in a relationship because hi, I think social status or something. I mean, it fits my personality. So there's nothing like unconditional between man and woman, in my view. Because before you even accept to date somebody, you also do your checks. You see somebody that will be comfortable with this. So there are always something attached. And those are conditions. What are conditions? Things that you look on to, to decide whether to stay or leave. That's why relationship or, or love is, is a choice. I it's love how you said, in it. my opinion, and in, your, in my view, I love how you said that. That is why it is very important that before you go out in a relationship, you really get to know a person. I'm not saying that it takes a year or two days. It's different for everyone. Mm -hmm. But personally, I do believe in unconditional love between men and women. Mm -hmm. I do believe that it exists. And I do believe that relationships sometimes... It's not just about love, religion, looks. It's about purpose. Mm -hmm. And when two people come together and understand each other's purposes... I think unconditional love can happen and can exist. And that, that is my opinion. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. And for you? Uh, yeah. uh, I do agree with uh, Mona, Sina, yeah. with and then, but the rest of her <laughs> say there is not. Meaning, uh, this is called expectations. You went in for someone with full of expectations. So what happened if that expectation is not met? Mm -hmm. That is where you will lack that unconditional love. Mm -hmm. But yes, during it's not our time from olden days, even before you get into that relationship, the parents or whatever, the family, they will go and then do some uh, private inquiries about what sort of family you are getting yourself in. It's only because our generation, we think we've been educated too much, we've been exposed too much, so we will not follow the guidelines and we end up messing up because sometimes we expect too much from a partner. No, there I, is, uh, no you, when it, you expect, you will not enjoy it's not unconditional love. Yeah, it's true. Even the terms you, of love, the only coming. unconditional One thing second, is from Jesus. That's it. The so, only... Unconditional love is from Jesus. I'm telling you. So when it comes, <laughs> that is agape. That is agape. Wait, one second. Wait, guys, 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 wait, wait. There's something that wait, one, one second, Tina. One second, second, Tina. <laughs> it is okay for everyone to have their own okay, opinion exactly. and their own view of love. <laughs> there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. There are people out there that date because someone is dark skinned someone has beautiful chocolate so skin. There is. There are people out there that date. There are people out there that marry someone because she. He has such a beautiful body. Conditions. There are people out there that marry someone because he's a doctor. There's there are people yeah. that will marry because the person has money. And it's conditioning. It, you know, and then there are people <laughs> like you and I who actually still believe that in love. In love you know, love. there are people like you and I and 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 and, 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 and you know, love. and when good we luck. talk about this unconditional love and this real love, a lot of times people say, Oh, you're crazy, you're living in a fantasy world, or this will never happen, or Ghana, you think you find this in Ghana, or and all of this. But I personally know people that have experienced it. I have experienced it. Okay. So I, I do believe I that it is there. And I do believe it is more also what, what you are looking for, what you portray, what your expectations are. And it, it's all about expectations. That's it, but it can happen, and, and we shouldn't put out there to our viewers that unconditional love does not exist it because exists. it exists, it really exists, and it's about finding your true self. You can't There's give so love me. if you don't even know your true self. <laughs> so you have to know who you are, know what you're ready oh to God. give, what you're ready to sacrifice. I mean, imagine I get married to him. <laughs> With no conditions. No, but Im Im imagine you, you get married. Okay. Person. Okay, so can I ask you a question? Oh, what no. is your are you are you married by a chance? No, I'm not married. Are you dating? Um, no. No. Okay. So what is your perfect ideal partner? Well, I wouldn't say I have. I, I can't create a human being, but of course I have what I also look out for. Yeah. Once, um, one what I'm looking for is mutual respect in my relationship. Uh -huh. I choose that over love because if you respect me. The love will come back. If you love me, somebody can love you and openly disrespect you. So okay. once you love me and you respect me and you, you, are, you are well organized as an individual, you know where you are going. You are that kind of person that knows 
you plan. Some people just don't plan. I just want everything. you. I just want you. So to basically, I, I'm not expecting. I'm not. I just I'm not want that kind you to list that, what you look for. I'm, I'm not. I'm not the kind of person that is looking for a tall, handsome man. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just for example. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Okay. For okay. the respect. Once you respect, the respect is so there. So all you want is respect. Respect. I that is it. all you want but, in a relationship from course, a person. Security. As I said, once when you're organized as an individual, oh, pause definitely for, pause work. For, one second, everything. Tina. Tina, one second. Okay. Just quick, short. Three things you 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 would want in a guy. Just just short. Like you, it can be religion. Just three things. Mutual respect. Uh huh. Care. Mm hmm. And a kind heart. And a kind heart. Yeah. Now you find this guy. A year later, he gets in an accident and he breaks his legs. He can't did walk I, again. Did I say handsome? No, I never said I handsome. I said care. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it means you can break your legs. I didn't say a handsome man. I I but but breaking man. your legs has nothing to so, do with okay. being handsome. When, with, with, with what I said, respect. You can't uh -huh. break your legs and still respect him. Okay. So would you, you but you what I'm saying is you would still so be with the person, right? Of course. Yeah, so that is unconditional love. It's not unconditional. We it is not somewhere. But at some point, I have to adjust. <laughs> okay. Do you, you understand? understand? No, no, no. Okay, no, 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 you're no, adjusting I'm talking about, I'm talking about. Okay, do you know what? Before we got married, it wasn't there. Now it's there. I have to learn to live with it. Okay. Okay, but so it's it is un it is it's because, not unconditional. Be because I know women out there I that would run. Not I know the relationship or I, marriage when you had no legs. But there are women out there that would but say. But once I find myself in that situation, I can't back out. But we so have, it's sacrifice. And that is, that, that point, is all I part sacrifice. of unconditional love, which is all part of unconditional love. That you love. are giving. <laughs> that you them. are exactly because we didn't be start from there. But there are women there out there. There were conditions before there are women. the sacrifice came. There are women <laughs> out there that there divorced. were conditions before the sacrifice no, came. If you so let bad. me say something, there are women <laughs> out there, <laughs> Tina. There are women out there that divorce their husbands even after they lose their job. Yes. That's Something them. as simple no, as that. Them. Yes, exactly. So, so what you are saying is unconditional love. If you start something. Okay, <laughs> so we'll all agree to disagree. Now, I think there's a lot going on on social media. I've been watching. Um, do we have any comments to read on social media? We should reach out to social media. Um, we have Kojo Afedi, who says, Okay, Nana Ayesu Akoto Sako, dear. With the unconditional lovers are here. I'm with you, La. I understand where you're coming from, oh. and I love that. I it understand. does exist. Peterson Selom says, good evening. I am really enjoying today's program. It is a very good topic for discussion, and I love the way you guys are explaining love. I am well educated today about whom to love and how to love. That is why we are here. Mm -hmm. Millie Amuzu, as always, in your bling slim fit trousers suit. <laughs> Thank you, Millie. If you know me, I do love bling. <laughs> um, Kofi Augustine. We want to know more. That's why we're here, definitely. We're definitely going to be talking more. Ohema Oleku, nice program. Thank you, thank you. Boga Boga, I see a lot of Boga Boga. <laughs> What's Boga saying? That's my friend. <laughs> oh, that's your friend. Oh, great. Patience, Ablevo. Where's my Miss Nancy? I really miss her. I really miss Miss. I miss Nancy as well. I really, really miss her. She's out of town. She'll be back soon. And if she's not back soon, then I will be here filling in for her. So, guys, keep watching. I'm watching right along with you. And if you're lucky enough, I just might read your comment. Now, back to the conversation. <laughs> I'm going to ask that was you. That a very fiery one. Now, <laughs> and I was enjoying <laughs> the whole experience. Yeah, I, I was really it, enjoying it. Giving, you giving it to each other like that. <laughs> Yeah. You know. But it is, it is it, that is the point of these conversations. It is okay to it is okay to disagree. It is okay to have different opinions, and mm -hmm. that is what love is. That is why there are different types of love because there are different types. You see, of people. I was going to say that that is why they had to create the concept of different kinds of love so that it would allow um, uh, Misty to have her opinion. Mm -hmm. You would have your opinion. I agree with you though, but. And then she also has a blessing, also has her opinion. So, well. My next question is for you, Doc. <laughs> Who falls in love first? Is it men or women? Do you want the truth? <laughs> well, I've done a little bit of research, so I have my answer based on research, and it's actually not what I thought. But uh, as an expert, I would like your opinion. Well, on th it. there's a latest um, conception that men do. There's a latest conception that men do, but it, it's, um, I think um, that research is flawed, but um, 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 it's also possible that it could be right, because um, I think that society keeps changing, you know, it's um, very dynamic, so what 
holds true um, in the past probably does not hold true now. Yeah. You know, but then what I know is that because men are visual beings, usually when we meet a woman, our first um, uh, emotion towards you is usually lust. Yeah. So a man last after you. That is why we would usually choose among three girlfriends in a bar, one. Because the rest do not ascribe to what we last after. So every man has what they last after. You know, some men would prefer, uh, would last after a woman that has um, voluminous, you know, breasts and then boobs, um, uh, I mean, uh, um, how do I even, you know, yeah. without being <laughs> <laughs> seeming crude, but, you know, yeah. And then some want them lean and shapely, some want them short, tall, some fair, dark, you know. So all of that. But men usually begin with lust, and we are driven in the beginning because of our lust. A woman having the responsibility of the continuity of a relationship would usually engage her mind when you approach her. So a woman would take time to think through the decision that has to be made and think through. And so as she thinks through that decision, she considers who you are, the circumstances under which you approach there, what she expects you to be, what she conceives your future is going to look like and all of those kind, uh, kind of thoughts. As she's going through that, you kind of dominate her thinking. So in dominating her thinking, she finds out if it's possible and if it should be that she is emotionally uh, drawn to you because you are being on his mind for a bit and so uh, on her mind for a bit so she develops that emotion first you know then with um, men if a man comes after you um, generally but not all the time but generally a man will come after you first because he lasts after you a man only falls in love with you when you delay his expectation, this is what women should know. If you delay a man's expectation, then he falls in love with you. Because men fall in love out of the frustration you give him. I like that. Drop the secrets. <laughs> yeah. Listen, Doc is dropping the secrets. We need, we, need, we need everyone to stay tuned. Stay with us because we're going to be right back and we're going to drop more gems. So we'll be right back. Let's take a quick break. My name is Yazi Singari, and I'm here filling in for Miss Nancy, and we still have a lot more to talk about. But before we dive into the conversation, let's talk about Sasa chili sauce. It is the perfect sauce to add to fried rice, jollof, indomie, to anything, and it is available in any and every supermarket all over Ghana. Malcolm Palace, everywhere, filling stations. And trust me, this Sasa sauce is delicious. It is very, very yummy, and you would want to try it. Now, for bulk purchases, you can get them at 0265-228389. That number again is 0265-228389. Now, the conversation is getting spicy and heated here, and I can see it is doing the same thing on Facebook. So I'm going to check out some Facebook messages, and let's get right to it. We have Abna Mills Yesuto, who says, I'm really enjoying today's program. Um, Joseph Mensa says there is unconditional love. I am so happy to hear that people <laughs> out there believe in unconditional love because I believe in it. Um, we have Nana Ohineba Kofi who says, I love Tina's point. Okay, go yeah. team Tina. Now we have Boga Boga. King Solomon, sorry, King Solomon, good evening. My name is Solomon from Wager. Love is always conditional. That is his opinion. Um, we have Daniela Abdella, who says, nice program. Bamforina says, no human can work 100% based on your expectations. That is his opinion. There is absolutely nothing wrong with having your opinions on love. 
nothing wrong with that. Bumfarina says, conditional love never lasts. Be yourself and love whom and how the person is. And I agree with that 150%. If you love somebody because of something, only based on condition, that relationship will never last. To have a good relationship, you need to know yourself. You need to know what you expect from your partner. You have to have this conversation with your partner. You have to understand your partner. And you have to be willing and ready to work with your partner to get what you want. And that is the only way you're going to have a long-lasting relationship. Now, I'm going to ask this. Uh, how do you feel when you love someone? Let's ask Be Tina. Before I go on, I want to shift with something. You mentioned uh, when you love someone. I today you're, atta today you're attacking dog, <laughs> dog you know. Yeah, you're attacking dog today. You said when you delay them, men will fall in love. It doesn't, it's not but Pause for a second. Yeah, pause for a second. Wait, po guys, someone has sent a message for doctor. Yeah. So let's see what the person says. Nana Ayesu Akutu Sakodia says, Doc has said the thing. No, I love your intellect, intellect, Doc. And Brilliant and that's real. That's real. We'll keep frustrating them in all wisdom. Holy Ghost, fine. That's a friend. It's not everybody that can take that. You frustrate no. them. That's what I'm saying. It's not 100%. So you say, in some cases, delayed expectations turns into love you but you don't said listen to everything no, no, everywhere no, 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 no. that I, I, I see I <laughs> but, but, you know, because but, but, I never, let me add something to it i don't you know, think even because, people who fall, because, wait guys one at a time people one who fall in love we should we should make make a gender based in the first place okay i believe uh, a woman or a man can, could fall in love first depending on their condition let's say uh, the emotionally vulnerable ones some depressed people some, some people who are not even happy in their relationships or are not satisfied with their partners, they look out for. So once they get a little bit of attention or love or what they're expecting from another person, they, they, they think that is love and then they jump on it. So it's not about who falls in love. It's about what condition do you find yourself that will make you available or vulnerable to love. And do you know something? He also made a point that before a, a man will make a decision of falling in love he had about three two women each are describing their boobs and the whatever but hey please <laughs> in art this era <laughs> ladies also have that numbers in waiting and it's a fact i know my ladies no one should pretend how they feel if you you know it before you could say yes there are you, you, you know, that, that is the mistake I think a lot of us women make. Yeah. So a lot, of, a lot of women, let's say we meet, I met Kofi. Mm -hmm. Once I meet Kofi, I start, you know, going, we're not boyfriend and girlfriend yet, but we're going mm, out on dinner. Most, most, I can't speak for okay. all, most women will only keep going to dinner with only Kofi. <laughs> so you're only getting to know Kofi. Whereas in a lot of times with guys, he'll go out with Ama, mm -hmm. AC, Ajwa. So he's, he's, it's not necessarily, you know, something. Them. He studies them. That's yeah. exactly what you said. Then he picks his best option. So that is why a lot of times you say that it's easier for maybe women to get yeah. heartbroken or for us to feel let down and stuff like that. But it's really just because we don't take our time to date around or date a lot, which there is absolutely we nothing should, wrong with that. taking a, a your pastor, time. A pastor advised me this. She said, listen, before I got married, I had about three, four women I was dating. And I disappointed the three because I was studying all of them. I was able to settle with one because, but you ladies always want to attach your hearts to one guy. I'm not saying you should sleep with them, yeah. but at least go on date with them, talk with them. You will find out what you want in that unconditional love that you are seeking for. So the reason why maybe Tina is not getting that unconditional love is because she <laughs> is always sticking to hey, Yao. Please. So, <laughs> Tina, from today, please, please. start talking with them and pick one. And then you'll find the unconditional love. So I, w I want to <laughs> say so that... always fall in love first because we can also <laughs> last after their money. If okay, Miss <laughs> <laughs> All right, Miss Blessing, but I want to add this to it um, because I have been in love. I have been in love, and I would say that when I was in love, I'll speak for myself, that for me, 
It was um, a feeling of feeling responsible for the other person, a feeling of feeling the, the other person's pain, a feeling of wanting to be there for the other person, making sure that the person is okay, taking care of their needs, be it whether they ate. You know, for me, being in love is, the sexual aspect plays a role in it, but I actually don't even think it, it is it is so major, you know, it is it is a feeling of unconditional love, sacrifice. I think the right word would be selfless and feeling responsible for the other person. But now let's go for the erotic word of the day. Erotic quote of the week. When you smile, I can feel all my passion unfolding. Your hand touches mine and a thousand sensations seduce me. That was the erotic word of the day. Now let's go for the sex position of the day. Sex position of the week, the super eight. This is a simple position. The woman lies flat on her back with a small cushion under her bottom to raise her hips. The man lies between her legs and support himself on his arms. Both the man and the woman are free to move in a rhythm with each other. <laughs> That was the super it. And boy, does it look super. If I have somebody special, I definitely will be trying that. Are any of you trying that this tonight? No, I'm single. So you're I'm single? Oh, okay. What sleep. about you? No, you're no? not single, are you? I'm sleeping no. alone. You're sleeping alone? Oh, okay. Seems like everyone here. Everyone is sleeping alone. <laughs> so guess what? My director, Banini, is available. He is available this evening if any of these ladies want to try <laughs> that <laughs> exotic book. And his love is unconditional. Benini, who is an amazing director, is ready. So he is ready. If any of you want to try that, it looked like that looked really cool with the guy on top, the woman on top, bent, and you know. You go together in a slow, nice, wow. erotic. Oh no, 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 not with Benini. <laughs> okay, that's for the one <laughs> Not with Benini, but if someone is lucky, I might try that tonight. We'll see about that. Now let's open the phone lines and see what our viewers have to say. Do we have any callers on the line? Uh any callers there? Okay, we don't have a caller yet, but the phone lines are open. The number is on the screen. So make sure you call in. I want, to, I want to know if you're going to try the position. I want to know what you think of the erotic word of the day. And most importantly, what is your take on love? Do you believe in unconditional love? Do you believe love exists? Okay, call in and let me know. But let's keep the conversation going. And I have to say, how do you think love affects your life when you are in love? Have you been in love before, Tina? Oh, yes. Are you sure? Oh, <laughs> oh yes. Come on, I have a hand. <laughs> Are you sure? Okay. So answer it for me. How do you think? Well, I, I feel love. It gives you a certain, in my opinion anyway, the courage and to some extent, to some extent, not <laughs> to some extent, you can tie self-worth to when you feel loved. The reason is sometimes when you are not loved by anybody, you feel uh, less significant or your okay. self -worth. Give me one second. I have a caller. His name mm -hmm. is Lamisi. Hi there, Lamisi. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I am super blessed. And you? I'm doing very well blessed. So what's your You're take on our conversation amazing. this evening? Hello. Yes. What's your take on our conversation this evening? Okay, great. So I think um, I start with Tina. Quick tea. Hi. Um, we all know that love is sweet. Oh, the when money enter, love is sweeter. Wow. You know. So let's not pretend. I mean, there are conditions to um, everything in life. We all have our dreams and goals and aspirations, and in life, if you do not where you are, if you do not know where you are going to, you turn out to hop on any bus that stops at the bus station. If you know you are going to Kaswa, you don't have any business with a bus that is going to Tema, you know. So if you have dreams and aspirations and you have goals, you look out for a man or a woman who fits 
into, I mean, that goal, that dream and aspiration so that your purpose can come to light. You know, so it is not, um, I think she, she wasn't saying that you always have to have conditions changing on, um, how do we call it, superficial things. But I mean, it could be deeper things way beyond the beauty. I mean, just things that are fleeting, but it could, conditions can be linked to purpose. You know, so if you are a Christian, that is why even our Muslim um, brothers and sisters, most of them are very strict on the kind of woman or man they get married to because even if you are a Christian, you end up praying to Allah, you know, and it is conditional, you know. So it goes beyond just, I mean, the things that we, we look at very, I mean, the very, very petty things. It goes deeper. Let's not pretend. So, hi, Tina, you beautiful. All of you are looking beautiful, and I love to be kisses and happy Valentine's Day in advance. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for tuning in. We have another call on the line, and his name is Moses. Hi there, Moses. Okay, I think Mo Moses is having some technical difficulties. Let's check this message out. Um, Nana Ayesua Kotusako, dear, Doc has said the thing. No, I think I read this message before. So let's move on to another message. Danielle Datsun. Danielle Datsun. Okay. What the man said is not true. If you delay a man and he doesn't love you, he will leave. Okay, I think Tina was saying that as well. Felix Braco Usu says, you frustrate us, we block you, we move. Time is all we have and don't have. Hello? Okay. Um, okay, we have someone on the line. Is am that I, Moses? On, on the line, please? Yes, you're on the line. Welcome to Duvet. Who am I speaking okay. with? You see, love, uh, I want to express. Uh, uh, love is uh, it's, uh, it's emotional. And then uh, uh, you can't hide it. And uh, if one love you, and it, it, it will not last. You see, your doings and your thoughts mix your attitude. So it will not last, and you've got to know your partner. So cherishing. Love goes to those who cherish love. So it's about inward and outward result. So you love the person, you cherish it. You see? So love is all about cherishing those you can you can marry and then I love you so I marry you but I don't love you somebody will be loving you outside <laughs> and then besides yes somebody will be loving you outside because maybe I give you one CD and you don't value it so I give somebody fifty pesos outside tomorrow the person will see me oh Naftali if not because of you. Yesterday, oh, God bless. Oh, so you are going? Are you going? Tomorrow, the person would like to be seeing me. You see? So the person is cherishing me. Let me see my wife is to the market. And I say, ah, push it up. Watch you. Watch it. Ah, by this time, she's with somebody. She will be, ah, I don't watch it. Sir. I don't watch it. Sir. And then somebody will see my wife outside and say, oh, when I see you, I'm happy. Oh, see, I, I love cherish. everything that you're the saying. Love is all about cherishing. You are so Thank right. You very much. You're very welcome. Keep watching. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. We love you. Let's check out another message. Peterson Selom says, Doc, thanks for giving me the medicine. The frustrations alone she gives me. Only God, oh, I can feel love in the atmosphere. It is love month, okay? It is love month. Here at GH1, you definitely want to stay tuned. On February 11th, we have the love fair right here at our studios at 9 a.m. You don't want to miss it. Love month. Let's give and spread love. Um, we also have Jonathan Mensa who says, I agree with Tina in a way. Honestly, on a broader scale, you guys end up in the same point because whatever the case you see, some, whatever the case is, you see something in someone for you to say yes to the person. Even if it's purpose, it is still something. Yes, I agree with that. But remember so that purpose is a lifetime decision that goes a long way. We have a caller on the line. Hey there, what's your name? Hello. Hi, what's your name? Yeah. Hello. Hi, can you turn your TV down a little bit for me? 
Hello. Hello. Can you turn your TV down? Okay, I think he has a trouble with his TV set. Guys, remember when you call in, please turn your TV set down so we Hello. can hear you. Hi there, Salom. Hi. Oh, Salom, you just broke my heart. I believe in unconditional love. Why would you do that? Okay, let's see. We also have a message from Nana Ayesua. Oh, Nana Ayesua is on a roll. Yeah, like, she's yeah. really, too, he or she is really tuned in. She. She, it's a she. She's okay. a friend. She's a friend. Okay, <laughs> hello, Nana. Love is divine. It demands spiritual values to work. Love has its own standards for a condition. That's where the sacrifices come in. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Nana, yes, why we're all sleeping alone. No. Let, okay, you know what? Why are you guys sleeping alone? This is why you need to attend February 11th, Single and Mingle at Silver Star Towers. It's organized by GH1 TV. If you're single, you need to be there. There's going to be a lot of great catches, both male and female. Stay tuned to our social media at GH1 TV for more information. I think we have a caller on the phone. Hi there. Hello, good evening. This is Ike from Sacramento. Hi, Ike. How are you doing? Yeah, uh, this is my little contribution. Love is very beautiful, okay? And um, when you have the right person and um, you love it from your heart, you enjoy it. Um, I am married, and um, I remember the first day I saw my wife, um, my girlfriend by then, I saw some beautiful futures on high. Um, I'm somebody I like tall girls, slim girls, you know, um, thin boobs, and they're not big breasts. So I saw all this, and I was like, no, this is the girl I am, I'm yearning to have in my life. Yeah, so um, I took a move, and she didn't accept it, but then because I knew what I wanted and what I was yearning for, I, I went ahead. And then, um, at the end, I had a... So what Doc is saying is true. Men, actually, for the first time, they last. They and if you don't give us that attention we are looking for, then we begin to love you more, okay? And we don't want to, you know, um, um, try to play any dicey in that kind of mode. So he's right. Okay, thank, thank you, you very much, Ike. Thank you. That was very a good positive review. Okay, Doc. Yeah, They're feeling the you out there. Oh, yes. The cheese. You know, the that, cheese is the cheese. No, it doesn't necessarily mean when he says I love you, be giving him time. The cheese is always, always making sure whatever got him attracted to you is still there. So if your, I'm just as an example. If yeah, yeah, the way you carry yourself attracted him, for him to still chase you. Always look that way. That is right. Yeah, that but, is but, but not the chase that I'm talking about. The chase as in, I love you, and then I'll no, be pursuing you. No, no, the chase we are talking here. When a man, when a man, uh, let me, uh, you ladies have been going <laughs> after each other for a bit. Let me say this. When a man meets you, mm -hmm. and he sees you, the first thing he thinks about is right. owning you. If you are his type. Fuck okay. you. It's not every woman that is every man's type. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm telling you. I completely true. agree with yeah. that. Every man is different. Every woman is different. Yeah. Every Everyone is has different. a different agenda yeah. when they yeah. meet you. And unfortunately, our time is almost up. So we're going to do last words. And we are going to start with Doc. Since we've been taking over, <laughs> let's let Doc start okay, with so his I'm last words. So I'm going to use my last words to just finish what I was saying. Uh -huh. That um, when a man comes, he's lasting after you. But then... He is not in love yet. Don't ever be um, deceived by the fact that a man tells you, I love you, the first time he meets you, because it's usually not true. I'm not saying that the exception does not exist. Yeah. It could exist. It possibly happens. But generally, it doesn't always happen like that. Now, if you take some time to um, let him struggle a bit, that is when you are able to weave out to those who have the right intentions. Because those who don't have the right intentions, they give up and then leave. They leave. But the one with the right intention stays over that period and falls in love. That was what I was trying to talk okay. about. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> now, Miss Tina. Uh, my last words. What I'll say is, um, if you're out there watching me right now, don't look at uh, somebody's love, relationship, or whatever. 
to determine how yours to go. Run your own race. Trust me, you can take inspiration from people's relationship. You can learn one or two things. But you know your partner. You know who you are in love with. So do you. And, and you know you know what got that spark and what can keep that spark. Okay. So take inspirations from one or two people, from marriages, from all that. But stay in your lane. Okay. And for you, Ms. Blessing? Okay. And for those who want to believe in love, love is an action word. Do not always recite. It's not a poem. Let, the, your, let your partner feel love. Let them feel the care. Let them feel everything. And especially we women, uh, no matter how your education level or what amount of money you get, don't, don't really, men always want to be respected. We shouldn't live this way. We shouldn't forget this way. No matter your education or how the standard you've built yourself in, every man wants to feel that man in him, the kingship in him. And they can only feel it if they feel loved and respected. So if you give them this, my sister should give you the love that you want, the care. Even if you misbehave because he knows someone is out there treating me like a king, I also give a, a, my love to her. And also, lastly, um, those of you who are already in, in marriage should know that sometimes love will fade, but you should go with commitment. It is commitment, a decision to stand by her or him. That is what will take you people out there. And you should always buy, bring in new ingredients into their relationship for love to sustain. This is all I have to say. Greetings to my mom. I know she's watching me. And everyone out there. Love you all. Very, very wise words by my guest. But what I have to say is that, first of all, love exists. Unconditional love exists. Love is a good thing. It's good for your emotional health. It's good for your mental health. And it's all around good for you. There are many, many different types of love, and there's many, many different ways to love. Don't give up. But before you go out there looking for love, understand yourself, understand what you want and what you're looking for, and stay focused. Also remember that in everything you do, keep God first, and trust me, you will find that love. My name is Yadi Sangari. I'm filling in for Miss Nancy today, and if she's not back next week, trust me, I'll be right back here. Yeah.